Hello, I'm Luke Bouchard, and this is today's Forgiveness Declaration card draw. I forgive myself for believing that I can die. Okay, so let's take a look at the reduction on this. When we fear death, not only are we believing that this world can hurt and kill us, it also means that we are finite and locked in time. This is not true, despite the ego wanting us to subscribe to fear and smallness. So how do we opt out of the dread of death? Simply by forgiving yourself for believing that you are partial, incomplete, and terminal. For if we can die, then so can God. And whoever wants to argue for that limitation adheres to pain, suffering, and separation. This only serves to whittle away our greatness and innocence. Now there's a section here with the Course of Miracles that I have, and I have a hard enough time reading my own stuff. I'm just going to not read it today, and you can it's in it's in the description, and you can um, you can read it if you want to, and if you're interested in it. Um, so let's go back to this image, or let's talk about this reduction. I think the main point that I want to make here is that. The, the belief in death is another way that we are no longer in the present. It, it, it puts us in the there and then. And it's, it's the fear that we have that we're going to die. And that when we have that belief that we're death, even if you, you know, just don't want to subscribe to everything else I wrote on this, even if you can just focus on the fact that it takes you out of the here and now. And that's what the ego wants. The ego doesn't want us to be present here and now connected to God. It actually wants us to be separated and not to be um, in connection, in communion with God. So if you have, you know, if you're suffering from this fear of death and your fear of mortality, it is just a way that you're actually um, distancing yourself from the love of God. And if you really want to have that love of God, you must join with them in the present, in the here and now. Because if you don't, you're just going to be tortured and, and suffering. Now, with this image, um, again, it was taken last year. I was riding my bike and I saw this... Uh, this tree being um, whittled away by a, a beaver. And uh, it was amazing that it could still stand because this was a big tree. This is probably about this far around this, this tree. It was like, it was pretty massive. And, um, and eventually it came down, not because of the beaver, but because the city of Edmonton decided that it was a hazard because it was on a trail. So they cut it down and you know the beaver lost out on, uh, on the tree. I think that's all I have to say today. I, um, I'm grateful that you're here with me watching this video. And I just uh, want to remind you that peace of mind can only be achieved through forgiveness and especially of yourself. And that's why all these forgiveness de declaration cards are start with, I figure of myself for believing. Because it is our belief that basically keeps us tortured in pain. It's our belief in smallness. It's our belief in limitation. It's our belief in separation from God that keeps us suffering and takes our peace of mind. All right, God bless, and there'll be another video coming up uh, soon.